Hey guys, today I'm going to unbox my new computer. So I'm using the 2019 16 inch one. It's the last Intel model with AMD graphics card, 10 nanometer graphics card, C500 AM. It's a pretty good laptop at that time, but it's just a little bit too slow for editing 4K HDR videos. So today we're going to unbox this one, the MacBook Pro 16 inch with M1 Max chip. For this one, I get it in Micro Center. It's an Apple refurbished one. It's only 21. 49, which is $500 cheaper than the refurbished one from Apple Store. And the original price is $3,300. So let's unbox it. 32 gigabytes with one terabyte storage version. It's the basic version for M1 Max. This time I got a silver version for this one. Since I don't like the space grid that much, my old laptop give me a lot of trouble. The lid has changed, the motherboard has changed, the display has been changed for two times, and the motherboard also been changed for the battery. Since this one uses Intel's chip, it heat it up pretty fast. If the color is darker, then it's harder to ventilate the heat from the metal. So this time I decided to buy a silver one. Like new. Let's check if there's any problem with the laptop. It's really good. There's another reason to get the silver one because in M1 Max laptop, they only give you silver version for the MagSafe. The M2 version of the MacBook Air, they give you the same color MagSafe with your laptop, but not for the first generation like this M1 Max. If you get space gray, you still get the silver version of the MagSafe. So that's one of the reasons to get silver one instead of space gray one. Here are all the documents. MacBook Pro. And how the lid and all the instruction. It's pretty thin for this one. They add the HDMI back and SD card back so it's easier to use. One of the reasons to get the M1 Max version instead of M1 Pro is for video editing, it gets twice as fast. Another reason is that for the Max version, you can have four outlet display, one HDMI and three Thunderbolt. For M1 Pro or M2 Pro, you can only get two external display. All the legal documents, the sticker is black like this. It's pretty awesome. It's a little bit thick. It's for padding, using a paper to do the padding for the laptop, which is a really nice design. We are going to take a look at the charger over here. The 140 watts gain charger, gallium nitride, G-A-N. And all the wrapping is all in paper, which is more eco-friendly, I guess. Also, you can recycle the paper box, which is good. However, for refurbished version of MacBooks, they still use plastic wrap, which is not so good. For a 140 watts charger, it's pretty nice. The size wasn't that bad. One of the cool things for a MacBook charger is that if you do it like this, it, both of the charger goes up. Some of the charger that you need to like use two fingers to push it out. So this is nice. And for Apple charger, they always have this. You can switch to different ones in different country, or you can use a general one to plug it for extension. This is a really good design. But I still miss that the old ones, they have two plastic wrap over here, so you can use a wire to wrap around, but now they cancel that design. For the charging cord, Apple changed the cord design, so for this one, it's with texture. It's easier to use, and this one is actually called MagSafe 3. Let's try out the magnets. Let's turn on the computer. Here, we can do a little bit color comparison between the silver and the space gray. So I use the space gray for a little while, and as you can see here, it leaves fingerprint marks easily. And this one is because the display has been repaired, so I just leave the plastic on, sticker on. So this is a 2019 version, so it's more rounded, and it's easier to hold by this, and the whole computer is thinner, 
and lighter. However, in 2021, Apple decided to make it more rugged and more flat design. Since the mini LED display is thicker, so they change it into a more squarish design and more rugged, more heavier design. As long as it works, cut through video like butter, I don't think that thicker is bad. However, for the weight, I just don't like how heavy it is. But I really like the 16 inch display. It's bright and vivid. So here is the SD card. It's super good for video editors. You can just take out the SD cards from your camera and put it in and the hdmi is perfect for work you can just plug the hdmi in and on the, any tv in hotels or in offices you don't need dongle for it so from my viewpoint i find this laptop has a mission the mission is to let everyone to dig the traditional thick usb a for this one the mission is to get rid of all the type c dongles so they serve different purpose in different time i guess let's turn on the computer for refurbished version wow boom for refurbished version, they'll still give you the cover, which is nice. So it's basically the same refurbished version from Apple. It's just that you bought it from Micro Center, which is nice because it's cheaper. And let's set up a computer together. This one in 2019, I bought this in 2020. In Taiwan, they have special character version. I want my computer to be nice and clean. So I changed it to full English keyboard. It's pretty nice. And here, we can see that for this one, since we're in the United States, it's supposed to be all English version. And for this one, it's all dark and they cancel the touch bar. English. To use English as the main language, press the return key. I'm going to put down my name. So then after putting up the user info in here, location. Yep, share Mac analytics with Apple. Yeah, weekly report screen, screen time, which is nice. Enable Siri. I'm Siri. I'm Siri. Hi. I'm Siri. Hi, I'm Siri. Shoot, Siri. Hi, I'm Siri. You can change it later in system settings. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. You can change it later in system settings. I like a younger version, I guess. Hey Siri, send a message. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, what does the rest of my day look like? Hey Siri, play some music. So continue here, improve, share. Yeah, I don't want to share. Privacy, the touch ID. So continue, you can just set up like that. It's pretty easy. And then continue. I would like the dark one. Continue. So my laptop is ready and I'm happy. Our battery is pretty low. It's only like 7%. It's pretty low over here. It's only like 7%. So I'm going to charge it and I can show you how I charge it. Let's charge this MacBook for a first time. Although it's a refurbished version, we can still charge it for a first time. First time for me. So this is the Apple charger. Just plug and open it. Put it over here. And for this wire, one end is type C. Type C here, the Mac safe over here. Don't do the self charging, it's pretty funny. You can do it like this. You can put the Type C over here and then do the Mac safe over here. And it starts to charge. Self charging, like that. Don't do that, it's silly. The right way to do it is actually take this Type C out, actually put it in the wall charger, like that. And then it starts to charge. Let's wait for the computer to charge. And there's several things I believe I should check for this refurbished version MacBook. For example, how good is the disk and how good is the battery? I really like my new laptop. I really like the price and I really like this model. It's a big redesign for Apple. It makes my 2019 MacBook Pro price drop really bad. So this one I used to pay $4,000 for this big laptop. And after a year, 2020, the M1 MacBook comes out and this one becomes 1000 bucks so i lost 3000 bucks in one year for the intel model and this one since it's a great leap hopefully i won't lose too much on this investment see you later bye bye